Hey guys, um, before we jump in this video, I just want to clarify my thoughts at the end a little bit. Um, I do think that, you know, the tower thing was nice, the gens was nice, I'm just a little upset over potentially 11 plus units in such a small span of time for people. That's the only thing I'm upset about. Everything else I think is wonderful, I love everything else they said, but I am very much upset about the 11 new units. Possibly. Minimum. That could be coming. But yeah, let's just jump right into the video, shall we? Hey guys, Arcus here. So I just woke up. I so I do apologize for that. Um if something comes over this video. Well Death Nuts released six hours ago, they released a whole day early. <laughs> so let's get the read them. Um it kinda invalidates the video I recorded last night for this morning, but whatever. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you get notified for an upload. Now I've already saw BS's title over the video record over this, so I'm kind of scared to see what's in here. Okay, hello, this is the Grand Cross Development Team. Thank you for your patience and polish a long wait. As I stated in the previous notice, this dev note will talk about the tower trials, new growth cap, and content improvements, and new content releases. We'll also be sharing details about new and fun update updates, as well as a plethora of rewards for all knights. New growth caps, content improvements, and new content are coming. The title of trials will be back in a new form and will have stages added continuously over time. So like I stated in the video, I'm probably, I'm probably still going to release that video as well. They're going to be doing a new tower instead of season 5. Okay. We can expect this tower on 4 slash 27. When is 4 slash 27? Next update. Okay. Also fret not, the season that you're worried about were, that were not run yet and will be run in sequential order and will be, be yeah, payable separately from the new version starting on 5 slash 11. I'm sorry for the pause, but no, 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 that's not what you global, no, 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 no. I'm going to tell you what's wrong with that, right? So if Re Zero starts here, right, and it, it's last two weeks, it ends right here. So when does the new tower start? Right here. That's a day after ReZero leaves. If oh no no. Uh, I better see some. I'd already be some good stuff in here. We would first like to start by explaining the background behind the postponement of tower trials. On three slash twenty five, the tower trials are restructured on the KR slash JP versions to an update regarding growth content. Because the KR slash JP and Go version utilize the same framework. It is impossible to operate with the current tower trial system along with the restructured version of KRS JP. The global dev team decided to provide the tower trial seasons that were not run in global seasons 5 through 8 as they were in KRS JP. Consensually, it was decided to go with a separate development process through the notice on 4 5. We explained that the expected season 5 would be delayed and that further details were provided in our dev notes. It was at that time that we decided that we began the development mission earlier. However, since the dev notes were to be released later than anticipated, we have inadvertently caused anxiety and worry. See, seasons 5 through 8 of Tower Trials, here and after Old Tower Trials, the four seasons that have been, haven't been released in global version yet will be playable along the, with the new Tower Trials. Until the remaining season of Tower Trials expire, both versions of Tower Trials will be playable in game. We plan on. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm too tired. <laughs> I just woke up. The old Tower Trials in the new version, and the tavern might give them distinct icons. Also, we plan on locking the fifth tier of Super Waking, released on the other version back in March, during next week's update. Yup. We also expand plan to expand the Super Waken supply so you can continuously attain them so as to relieve any feelings of burden regarding it. 
this means the um, dungeon, right? I don't like this. I don't. So far, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not very happy with what they're saying so far. But let's continue on. After that, we will provide some more details and schedule updates for each version of Tower Trials. Please look forward to it. I stated earlier the Tower Trials have stages to be over added over to it over time. Furthermore, we are planning to provide the same amount of Super Awakening coins and some of the currency rewards that have been acquired from the old Tower Trials to daily mission rewards. That means the cosmetics, gems, and Super Awakening coins you would acquire in anvils will be pushed to the daily rewards from now on, right? We're also adding a highly efficient way to acquire Super Awakening coins if needed. It's not highly efficient. You've seen you've seen the stats. You saw the Excel in my old video. You saw what exactly you get. It's not efficient. Not efficient in the slightest when it comes to how many Super Awakening coins you need, right? We needed a new dungeon within the time limit dungeon. We plan on continuously trying to lower the burden of Super Awakening and allow you to feel the satisfaction of upgrading your heroes. By having events that provide Super Awakening coins, it might bring back the old Tower Trials and Towers of Disaster. Lastly, due to the Super Awakening tier expansion, we are planning on sending everyone 100 SA coins to every night's inbox after our maintenance of next week's update. That's expected, okay. Further, further increases to this SA cap will be handled very carefully. After the SA cap increase and the expansion of the SA coin supply, we will consider every night's suit SA situation for implementing high level content updates. Okay, here comes a really hard deathmatch, alright? Um, there's a new deathmatch coming out that's linked to level 90, and I guess it, it will be added with the next update as well. It is a very, very. Okay, no, it's a separate notice. Um. It's a very tough deathmatch. It's nothing to laugh at. It's nothing easy to go over. Like the two, the best unit currently is the special New Year's unit, Green D and Meliodas. And as you saw, they took Green D and Meliodas off, you know, the recent banner you were supposed to be on and exchanged him for someone else, which people are like, oh, well, that's not much of a big deal. But now it is a big deal because he's literally the best in most efficient way to get through this deathmatch. But let's continue. Oh. Oh. No. No, 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 no. Collaborations. We imagine a lot of nights surprised to hear there are more than one happening. Very. Very, very much. This could go a lot of wrong with what's said here. We lined up collaborations with various partners so Knights can enjoy a special new gameplay experience. Over the span of a month, we will have collaborations with two IPs. The collaboration was created so that the Knights from around the globe can enjoy a unique experience as well as abundant rewards and device types of content. The first collaboration in the double collaboration event is a Netflix series Stranger Things. So this wasn't completely fake. It wasn't cancelled, it was coming out. Experience a gripping story revolving around the Levin and her friends as they find themselves in the Kingdom of Leonis. The Stranger Things collaboration will also be carried out the same week in the KR, JP, and Global versions. With this first ever worldwide collaboration event, we will hope you enjoy the exciting content we have created, as well as the amazing characters from Stranger Things. Please look forward to the amazing teamwork between the characters from the Stranger Things and our heroes from the Seven Daily Sins. The collaboration following the Stranger Things is that collab, which we are sure many of you already know about. To avoid spoiling it for those who haven't heard yet, we will not be announcing it here. ReZero, by the way. On top of that, we'd like to share some fantastic words we prepared ahead of the two collaborations. Since we have two upcoming collaborations, we would like to provide an enjoyable experience while also listening to the burden put on the nights. To celebrate the double collaboration, you receive 30 diamonds. And both collaborations will provide an SSR collaboration hero, and you will acquire coffin stuff for each collaboration hero through gameplay. You also receive 10 collab pickup tickets as check rewards for both events. So for um, ReZero, it is Brim. That is provided for you. That's the green, pink haired one. And of course, you get some uh, different made outfits for each character, right? 
We we plan to give uh, especially when it gets back 100 diamonds for every six iron load point loyalty points earned. Okay. And lastly, due to delay of such content as such as tower trials, for and for not properly accessing the burden of trying to close the gap between the two uh, between the three versions, we will be sending 300 diamonds to all knights starting at 4 slash 22 on the global version. You can claim this sword until 5 slash 10 if I simply log into the game and once again we apologize for not fully grasping the weight of these inconveniences to you and we will continue to our commitment to do the best we can provide to with you a better service. So on JP we're also receiving 300 diamonds. Oh, so they're giving us 300 diamonds because they got 300 diamonds because the Chandler skill messed up. Okay. Um, <laughs> this isn't, this isn't a dress. I mean, uh, thank you. I mean, I am happy for this. That is part of the issue, right? They did give the diamonds out that we needed, that we would have gotten from that. No, they really didn't actually, did they? Because this is the three diamonds that JP would have gotten for Chandler's skill. But at the same time, I'm glad they're giving us three diamonds. But they're give, pushing back the trial trials until right here. So if these units end up becoming any good, we won't we won't get the the, the rewards for them, right? But we'll get the rewards for the re zero collab. Okay. Um. I don't I don't have much words to say on this because I don't like that they're pushing back power trials, but at the same time. At least it's at least we're getting tower trials during at least the Rizal Club that we know guarantee the units are been good, but we don't know anything about these units. Two collabs. So we had Assault Meliodas. We had Merlin. We had two we're having two collabs. And then we have Fist Zeldas, right? God, that's that's a lot in a row. That really is a lot in a row, isn't it? Boys, that is... Oh... I'm sorry, Global Peeps. Um... Um, this is... This is a lot in a row for Global. This really is... Jesus. Um... 900, 1800... And then you would add 1200 onto that. So that would be 3,000 and 3,800 if you want to get one guaranteed copy of a unit from each of the banners, the best banners that were released, right? 3,900 gems. Jesus. Huh. Okay, that's it. That's the death nuts. I'm happy they're giving us the gems. I'm not happy with how many Fez banners we're having in a row on Global. That's quite, that's quite fun, isn't it? Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.